Hello, this is Shade Catchum, and welcome uh, to my next reaction to Ruby Volume 9. We're starting episode, or chapter 6, Confessions Within... I can't even begin to pronounce that. C-U-M-U-L-O-N-I-M-B-U-S. Clouds. Cumulonimbus Clouds? I don't think I've ever, I've heard two of those, oh, two similar sounding words to that. Never heard them, like, together. Anyway, they've been hyping up this episode like no tomorrow on Twitter and such. And it's not hard uh, to see uh, why. Pretty much, there's uh, been a lot of stuff happening in the past few episodes, notably with uh, Neo sicking, like, a bunch of Jabberwalkers that she seems to have created with her semblance and the reveal that John is the rusted knight which I mean most people guessed already because the similar armor but still it's nice to have the re it's nice to finally have it confirmed even though the real reveal was the fact that he was basically like seemingly aged uh, with longer hair and the beard and such I've uh, I've already gone through like the intro uh, part as usual, uh, and it actually even changed it uh, so that instead of the zooming in on the rusted knight in the flames, it zooming in on John now, just for further confirmation. But yeah, there's also another reason that this episode has possibly been hyped up. At least people have been theorizing, and we'll see if it's true. I'm hoping it is because. Finally, it will happen, hopefully, please. Also, I realized uh, we're like halfway into the volume now. This thing is going quick. So anyway, let's get started. Oh, one last thing. At the beginning of this episode, there is a warning for photosensitive viewers. Obviously, you should watch the episode before watching this reaction. But even then, obviously, just reiterating that warning. Okay, let's do it. Oh, we're starting here. Okay, we're starting to see what's gonna happen. Cause that's... Cause clearly there's... Crescent Rose? Oh, are we finding out what happened to it? Okay, okay John, how did time pass quicker for you than it did for everyone else? Come on, buddy, walk it off. Where... am I? Uh, you are on a beach with very twisted trees. Yeah. Are you just... What? Is that a tree with a clock in it? I know we saw clocks in the intro, but... It's a clock and a fruit. Is is time turning back? Hey, no, uh, wait. wait, wait, wait! Stop it! Please stop! I, I saw what I'm guessing was Team Ruby going across the sky. What? Is oh, um. Okay, I I know you're panicking, but it may not have been the best idea to do that. So, I thought maybe I'd never see you again. Did you like? So you but turned back time. I knew if I waited long enough, that you would fall. So you just like I did. So you would basically turn back time accidentally, and time, and you kind of had to it's, wait it out. It's really you, right? When I saw you in the market, I. Sean. How long it's has it? Us. 
how long has it been for you? I mean, I guess it's kind of difficult to tell. How did you find us? How are you the rusted knight? And when did you get so... Mature? What? Uh, uh, um, wow, Ice. What in Atlas? White knight shippers are going to be happy. The rest of us fell. I, uh... I guess. Guess we've all got a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. Curiously, how old are you right now? Just... She's got two relics now. And with Cinder, the ability to get another. She doesn't yep. know where the beacon relic is. Well, there's that to be thankful for. At True, least. but none of us do. We lost Atlas and the relic. Except Oz, but we I got guess. everyone out safely. John said so. We risked their home to save the relic. And we failed. Getting everyone out has to count for something. It does. What good is saving anybody if Salem just destroys the world anyway? That's how Ironwood thought. Yeah. We... You don't mean that. Are you done? We have to have some We hope. need to move before the weather turns, or it's going to take us a lot longer to get to safety. Okay, where are we going? We're still heading to the tree. There will be plenty of time to lick your wounds later. Come on. What is Juniper there? Are they just a giant rabbit? So, or where are we going again? My village. You. I still can't believe you made it all the way from the Crimson Keep on your own. You have a village? Not on our own. We had help. Uh, oh. I hope the cat is okay. Actually, yeah. What cat? Where is... Oh, no. That cat! Oh no, I have a bad feeling. Oh. Whew, I found you. Why is it you always find the thing you're looking for in the very last place you look? Um <gasps> Sean! Oh my! It has been an indeterminate amount of time, hasn't it? Oh god. So, how have you been? Wait, you two know each other? I have a very bad well, feeling about this. They'd have to. From the story. Nah. Oh, John, oh, nah. I think there's a misunderstanding. The cat can get us all out of here. Are we sure? We don't have time for this. We've got to get to my village. Don't worry. We don't need a guide. But your friends wanted to go to the tree. That's where you're letting them take you? Well, yeah. That's... That's how Alex got out. Did she? Right? You didn't tell them anything. No, that's simply not true. Oh god. I told them plenty of things. A few any things and lots of some things. I should have known. Can somebody please make sense. I should have known. That You're voiced by Robbie Damon. What? It absorbs you, takes your memories, and turns you into something else. If you go there, it's going to erase you. What? They call it ascension here. That's really what it is. Oh. Wait. God. Wait. The tree is what causes ascension? That's what got the herbalist. The roots of the tree. Wait, then how Pretty did Alex get out? that you neglected to mention that. Oh, excellent punmanship. But you are not from here. It won't do that to you guys. Oh, yeah. Really? Then what happened to Lewis? Who? Alex's brother. Oh. That... That can't be right. She had a brother? Why didn't you mention him? Well, you never asked, silly. Why didn't Alex It was Alex always mention him? Alex this and Alex that. We've been following this story the whole time, and it's not even true? Let's go. I've got a plan. A lot of good that's done you after, what, how many years? Can everyone please stop? Oh, God. This is this a is... lot to take in. Yeah, this well, is a little very looks tense. Looks like we're stuck at a crossroads, then. No! What happened? Where are we? Damn it. God, I have many questions. Welcome to a thunderstorm. A what? A uh, weather pattern that creates a physical manifestation of a mental or emotional problem. What? So, we appear to be at a metaphorical and literal crossroads. Great. How perfectly stupidly ever after it. It's also <sighs> quite This place really is the pits. <laughs> The only way out is to resolve the problem or wait until the storm passes. Let's just get moving. Yeah, I guess we can. Oh, God. Okay, I asked for that. True. Where's Yang? 
God, it's Loki syndrome. And Blake? Must have had something bigger to work out. Oh God. Are they working out what I think they're working out? Blake! Well, that's. Hey! What do we do? Ah. Uh, Blake. We need to get to that platform. Okay, Blake, can you use Gamble Shroud and to get there? Do we take the next step? Uh. Yang, I don't know. I guess Blake could grab you a Gamble Shroud, or you could go across the rope. Or maybe it's a metaphorical answer. You know, this would go quicker if you make up your minds. Uh, what? <laughs> I just don't get how the story is both real and not. Yeah. Alex wrote down the story, so what happened? Why didn't she... she met? Was that... It all happened. Summer? Just not the way Alex said when she wrote it. Oh. Penny. There's Atlas. So, what? She just lied? You have no idea. God, there's like... I waited for you to fall. For years. How many? But somebody else showed up first. It was Alex. And her brother, Louis. Two siblings from Remnant. I told them I was from there too. I was waiting for my friends. Wait a minute. Once I started helping them, it didn't take long for me to figure out I was in her story. I was the rusted knight. <laughs> but things weren't always the same as the book. Like Alex. She wasn't just a little petulant or inconsiderate. She was selfish. Cruel. But this whole world was simply make-believe and the rules didn't apply to her. Lewis was the kind one. The clever one. We went places she didn't mention in the story. Like the herbalist. Something changed there. Whatever he said to her, she wasn't the same after that. She lost all trust in us. Started oh. accusing us of things. The more I tried to get the story back on track, the more she distrusted me. Was it my fault? Did I change the story? I, I couldn't even be the make-believe hero. I didn't have time to make it right. Did she? The rusted knight drank the poison in her stead. She said she wouldn't let anyone get in the way of her leaving. That she'd do whatever it takes. And then she was gone. Oh, God. So, not exactly my favorite story anymore. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Wait. Why don't you trust the cat then? The cat's role in the Ever After. I figured it out later when the cat came back for me once Alex left. When people lose their way here, mm -hmm. the cat convinces them somehow. Either to keep performing their role or to go to the tree. Yeah. And get a new one. The cat calls it healing, but it's manipulation. Yeah, we saw that. The cat was never helping Alex with or the Prince. You. And the Her purpose here is to feed the tree. To keep the cycle going. How can you be sure? Because the cat took Alex and Lewis there. But only one of them made it back to our world. Great. I have a theory. I wonder if Lewis was maybe another of Oz's incarnation. You alright? I'll feel a lot better when we're together on that platform. Take a step. Uh, is it a password or something? Together! Platform! No luck? No. I'm sure you'll figure it out, though. You're good at that. You think so? Well, yeah. You've got a really good... Brain. <laughs> Here you go. Okay, that did something. Keep going. Uh, I talked about you, so. <clears throat> Do it. You have cat ears. No, but. Come on, Yang. I think your cat ears are cute. Yeah, be honest. Nailed it. Even though I don't oh. know what it 
is yet. Okay, that was adorable. Maybe it's saying things we never said to each other. Come on. You two have been on a date before. Come on. I think you're an extraordinary person. You're always the first to lighten a situation. You act bravely when you're afraid. You do what you say. I'm liking what I'm hearing from the soundtrack. Try to keep up. <laughs> Come on, Yang, let's see I what like you got. that you've never been intimidated by me. Even when you didn't like me all that much. <laughs> I was a little wary of people in general. But you never gave up on them, even when they hurt you. You never give up. You know what matters to you. Little let's more. make this quicker. Yeah. Any big truths we haven't dropped on each other yet? Yeah, a very big one. Say it. No, no, no. Come on, come on. Did you just think of something that didn't say it? That can't be what this is about. Yes. Say it. It's like a cliff. And if I do it, I'm just going to fall. I think we're already falling. Yeah. Just say it, Yang. You're falling for each other. Come on. We've been waiting for I years. I think I love you. I love you too. Thank you! Finally! I have been waiting since volume two. Please kiss. Make it official. Yes! Finally! God, no wonder they were hyping this up. Thank you, Kruby. Thank you. Oh god. How odd. This time you were in the first place I looked, rather than the last. Jean told us. Oh, I thought there was more to the story. You're accusing me of something. Same page now. You're the one who gives afterins to the tree. Why haven't you been telling us the truth? When afterins get all higgly-piggly, I help them return to the ever after, yes. But you're not Afterins. I'm not taking you there to ascend. I'm taking you there because you all have such delightful information for me. You pretended what? like you'd never heard of the story when you met us. But Jean had already told you. I think old Jean's maybe a few sandberries short of a picnic these days, wouldn't you say? No. What happened when you took Alex and Lewis to the tree? Yeah, come on. That's all. I... I don't know. She had told me she'd take me with her, through the door to Remnant, but she tricked me. Just, just like all of you. You only want to use me in the same way I've only seen others as sources for knowledge and entertainment. I... Well, at least now I know what not to do. I don't know whether to trust you. We just want to get home. Thank you for this lesson, Ruby. Rose, Huntress, I'll be on my way now. Stay with your friend. Okay, that's not good. I guess the storm just passed. Uh. Did we miss anything? A bit. Feels like I've been waiting forever for that. Yes! Thank you! God, son's gonna be delighted when he sees that. He's gonna be so happy for them. He's always been Blake's, uh, like, wingman. Hey, there's something I've been holding on to for you. Oh, is it, was it Crescent? The first thing I saw. Crescent Rose? When I was falling. Years later, when I finally found it, I knew I'd caught back up to the time of my birthday. Ruby? Ruby. Ruby? Hey. <laughs> I. Uh, 
Thank you, Sean. Don't mention it. Sean? What did happen to Lewis? Yeah, do you know? I think... Alex traded him to the tree in order to leave. And then she wrote him out of the story. Oh. Good night, everyone. That's... That's just horrible. Um, Yissa uh, and Carrie, thank you. Fantastic. Thank you very much. You did a fantastic job directing this episode. I, I still would personally like an exact amount of years just so we know how old he is in comparison. Like, is John in his 20s, his 30s? Like, what, what are we doing here? Because we don't know... Because we don't know... Oh, that's adorable. We don't know exactly how many years ago it was that Alex wrote the story. But yeah, I'm thinking... Maybe Lewis might have been an incarnation of Oz, but that may be a bit far-fetched. I'm starting to wonder... Some people have pointed out that there may have tried to form some type of connection between Alex and Neo, and I'm starting to wonder if maybe they have a point. Like, maybe that Neo is sort of a reincarnation of Alex? Hard to say. I mean, she kind of hasn't done much in this volume, or appeared much, so it would be a nice way to make her role larger in a way by showing that she was also this character. Granted, it also means that she very likely will not be getting out. Which saddens me. But if that's what happens, I will I'll not get angry about it. Just move on. But that was a great episode. The visuals of like <laughs> the maze and such oh, was fantastic. The the whole bridge scene, which side note, there's a whole scene of Ruby uh, uh, confronting what seems like herself on a bridge, and I'm guessing either that's gonna happen in one of the next episodes, or it's just kind of just the intro being an intro. So it's not going to be completely accurate. But. Also, I know. I I, I kind of figured uh, that maybe I shouldn't have been trusting the cat that much. I mean, for if I've learned anything from basically shows in the magical girl genre. It's that the cute little companion. Sometimes isn't the most trustworthy uh, little buddy out there. I don't know if you would classify Ruby as a magical girl show, but I, I figured it, it technically counts. Also, the cat is voiced by Robbie Damon, who, if you're familiar with another character he's famously voiced in a very well-known series, then you can understand oh, why it's oh, just an immediate red flag. It's like, hmm, you cast Robbie Damon oh, for a role of a character who's seemingly a bit manipulative. Hmm, maybe I should be wary. But, of course, the highlight was just the Blake and Yang scene, which I've been shipping Bumblebee since Volume 2. I didn't, I was not immediately on board with the ship uh, like some people were when the initial trailers came out. Some people were pairing together the members of Team Ruby because, hey, they thought uh, they were cute together. But I didn't start getting on board with the ship until Volume 2 where Blake and Yang had their big conversation before the dance. Because that was the point uh, where, like a number of uh, other people... I became convinced that, oh, maybe this isn't uh, just uh, a fun little ship. Maybe this has a chance of happening. 
And then volume three happened and it was like, yep, yep, that's where we're going. I, I will be surprised if that's not where we're going. And it finally happened after so many years. Thank you. Finally. God, I'm now I'm imagining again what it's going to be like when they get back. Nora's been calling it uh, the entire time. Uh, she'll probably uh, go with the same reaction John had, like, just finally. Which, side note, he was kind of oblivious uh, to that back in Volume 8, so I guess he just kind of clued in over the years. And then Sun is going to, like, a number of people uh, have um, basically mentioned that he's basically Blake's wingman. And yeah, I can definitely see that. He's going to be ecstatic and just congratulating them uh, once he finds out uh, when they get to Vacuo. Although now I'm... God, I have, I have even more questions now of where they're going to go from here. But yeah, that's basically my reaction. We have like four episodes left in the volume. I'm curious as to where we're going to go from here. Because they still have to presumably get to the tree. And it has to have like some form of like a way out of there. Because Alex got out in order to write the book. But I'm wondering based on what John said, if maybe the only way out is to pay a price of sorts. Which... I have a theory. I'm wondering if one of our six characters... Te like, Team Ruby's gotta get out. Because they do have an idea for Volume 10. Team Ruby's gotta get out because they're the lead characters. But we have two characters who are not the leads. John and Neo. I have just have the sinking suspicion one of them is going to have to be like, kind of have to give themselves up to the tree in order to, like, help Team Ruby and possibly one other person get back to Remnant. Who knows? It's kind of difficult to say, especially since we don't know for certain of what happened to Lewis. Alex didn't write him in the story, so... Although, if I had to ha hazard a guess, it might happen to John. Just because... I mean, I... I'm having a difficult time of thinking where he would go, like from there like if they get back to remnants like would he return to his original age or would he stay like that oh that reminds me i a number of people have uh, pointed this out here uh, over the time of like Tyrion's initial reaction uh, to uh, like team ranger uh, in volume four and he specifically points out john uh, like saying that he some uh, he interests him, and a lot of people were curious as to what that meant. Some people thought that maybe it's just the massive amount of ore he has, maybe he's connected to Salem in some way. But I'm wondering if the answer is just this: that John is the rusted knight from Alex's tale, and Tyrion, uh, uh, like Tyrion, managed to figure that out. I have no idea how he would figure it out. Maybe Salem knows the truth. Or maybe Tyrion is just so crazy that he's able to figure it out. Who knows? But that's my guess for right now. I I'm looking forward to where we go next. This may not have been the most action-heavy volume. Heck, there's only been one action scene, I think. But the emotional moments have more than, like, uh, more uh, than uh, made up for that. Like, this is stuff I've wanted to see happen. I want, I always want the characters to be the focus 
Because if you don't have characters you care about, then you're not going to care about what happens in the story. It, it, you can have cool action scenes that look cool and stuff uh, if you like never seen the show before, but it'll have always have more of an impact if you care about the characters that are like experiencing it. The whole thing with Weiss uh, getting uh, like impaled uh, during Volume Five that would have no impact on you if you didn't know anything about her. But uh, for viewers who uh, watched the series from the beginning they were horrified when they happened and so they're probably going to be like same thing here like a lot of viewers are going to be delighted uh, that bumblebee has finally happened a lot of viewers are going to be sad for john uh, over what he's gone through basically it's great and volume nine might actually be a contender for my favorite volume my, my favorites have been usually volumes 3, 4, and 6. This is definitely uh, up there right now. And it may take like that top spot depending on how the other episodes go. I'm hoping it goes the way I think it does. Or at the very least that ev they find a way to get everyone out. Especially because I can't see Ruby getting any hope back if they have to sacrifice John. Like, just lose another friend, why don't you? No. That's probably... That probably will not do great things for her. So, yeah, I, I hope John and Neo get out. Even if Neo turns out to be connected to Alex, but who knows. I've rambled. I have been rambling quite a bit. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you did, please leave a comment if you enjoyed the reaction, what your re what your thoughts were about, again, what happened to Jean, Blake and Yang, just anything. I'm, all, I'm always up for a discussion, provided it's a polite discussion and not just random insulting uh, of each other or the creators or the show. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and have a good day.